Okay, now that the tank is set up, uh, we're going to show you the routine maintenance that you do. We, we do this once a week. So the first step is to unplug the chiller and the water pump. This is a filter cell compartment and once a week you want to remove the Dacron sleeves from the filter cells. And they should slide off and they will probably look a lot dirtier than this one. And we've got a bucket of water from the tank that's sitting there and you can take about half of the sleeves off and get them into the bucket. So before you get started you're going to want to have two buckets. You're going to have a bucket for your filter cells and then you've got a bucket that's about half full of water from the tank where you're going to rinse your Dacron sleeves. And once a week you want to remove the Dacron sleeves and you'll put them into that bucket of water and, and depending on how dirty they are you're going to have to change your water so it might take two buckets it might take three buckets to to accomplish that but after you wring them out in the water then you can put them back on and you repeat that process for all of your filter cells once a week so after you have cleaned your Dacron filter sleeves, your socks, you remove two carbon filter cells, which I've already removed one. And you have now done the routine maintenance of cleaning your two carbon filter cells once a week. You want to keep track of the two that you cleaned so that next week you clean the other two carbon filter cells. If you have the four filter cell tank, this one has eight, the smaller tank only has four, so once a week you just clean the two carbon filter cells that you have in your tank. The biofilter cells you don't have to clean those weekly Occasionally you can remove the biofilter cell and just take and, and shake it up so you loosen up the organic matter that's, that's in it and then wring it out in your bucket of water and then just put it back into the tank. And then put your sleeve back on and you are done cleaning your filter cells. So now that you've completed the cleaning of your filter cells, you're ready to power back up. So you want to make sure that you turn your chiller and your water pump back on. You now have two dirty filter cells that you can look up in the operating manual and follow the instructions for cleaning those. Basically it's just spraying them out with hot water and when you can, let them dry in the sun. You've got a bucket of dirty water that you use to rinse your filter cell sacks and you can discard that. Uh, your water level is before you add that water. So ready to rock and roll now.